This video will introduce you to framework matrices. There are two main ways you can use a framework matrix in your project. First of all, they can be used as a very quick way of cross-tabulating qualitative data. This is the ability for you to view cases by codes and then auto summarize them to match the references across. This might be a little hard to visualize, but it will make sense when we make the matrix. The second way you can use this is if you're using the framework analytical approach. Here, you would use a framework matrix to generate summaries that you have manually written based on the content within the files you're looking at. This is a specific methodology and will only be useful for a small group. To start with your own framework matrix, you first need to open the notes folder and select the framework matrices folder. I'm going to click close on this helpful information and then right click to create a new framework matrix. I'm going to call this fishing industry decline as these are the themes we're going to be exploring. Before I can create my framework matrix, I first need to set up the rows. The rows of a framework matrix are always case based. To do this, I go to select and then I choose the cases that I wish to use. In this case, I'm going to open the cases folder, select the people folder, and then choose this tick box, automatically select descendant codes. I'm then going to tick interview participants and you'll see it has ticked all of the interview participants. And then I'm going to untick automatically select descendant codes and untick interview participants. This is because I want the contents of this folder selected and not the folder itself. As soon as I click OK, all of my participants are now loaded in the rows area. I have an option to then group them or sort them by attributes. To do this, in the second column, I click select. I then am opening up the person case classification and I'm going to choose the age and the gender attributes to, to group the cases and then I'm going to click OK. Finally, I can specify my columns. This is where I would select theme codes. I choose select and this time I'm going to go to the codes folder. I'm going to open economy, open fishing or aquaculture, open fishing industry decline and then make sure I select all of the subcodes of fishing industry decline and then untick that top level. I'm now ready to open this new matrix by clicking OK. You can see the matrix is created and now loads ready for you to edit and open. I'm going to create a little bit more room by rearranging my interface. You'll notice that whenever you click on one of your rows, for example, Betty or Dorothy, on the right hand side, it changes to show the content from that particular case. If I were using the framework approach, I would read the content shown on the right hand side and then type my own summaries into all of these columns, were there anything appropriate for me to enter. As we've seen in the previous video, I could then link my summaries to the text they relate to using a see also link. If however, you're using a framework matrix just to cross tabulate qualitative data, all you need to do is click the auto summarize button at the top. As soon as I click this, Envivo will go through my project and look for where these themes overlap with these cases. As soon as it's complete, it will copy and paste the text from those original cases and display them in this matrix. The window will tell me how many summaries have been updated, in this case 29. And if I click OK, I can now explore that coding in a bit more detail. You'll notice as I scroll down, I can see where any time these themes overlapped with one of the cases. For example, if we look at William, we can see this text was coded to due to cost of doing business from William the participant. And this text here was coded under the theme of due to the environmental impacts of fishing. If I look at Barbara, I can see this text here was coded under the due to foreign competition theme. 
It's important to remember the framework matrix isn't conducting the analysis for us. It is just rearranging and visualizing data based on existing coding. It's always important to remember that framework matrices are stored not within your data area, but within your notes area. They themselves are a different source of data. So unlike cases and codes, which are applied to existing data, you'll notice that anything in a framework matrix is separate to this and is therefore not linked. Hopefully this is enough for you to get started with framework matrices.